thousands of families with children and youth facing serious health or developmental challenges. Right now, they are getting ready to host their biggest fundraiser of the year. I spoke with a local mother who says the organization changed her life, and her family's story is now changing other people's lives as well. My son's name was Rudy. Uh, we called him Bumblebee because he liked the Transformers. Rudy Alejos was a young boy who also loved superheroes. Abby Eckmark says her son Rudy was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder when he was three years old doctor who diagnosed him said that if I was going to get any kind of help that Any Baby Can was the place to start. Abby says she found guidance at the nonprofit Any Baby Can San Antonio. She learned from other parents and was provided with several resources. But in 2011, their lives changed. On August 16th, Abby's apartment building caught fire. I just remember opening the door and seeing a fire and trying to get us out, and I couldn't, and he passed away. Rudy was only six years old. Abby began recovering from burns all over her body. Although this was the hardest time of her life, she wanted to honor her son. I want to make something of his life. I want people to remember him, and I came back to any baby can. Rudy was honored at the 8th Annual Walk for Autism with the creation of Rudy's Playground, an area where all kids can play. Since Abby has um, come forward and provided such an eye-opening experience for our families, we've changed up a lot of what we've done to educate the families that we have on, the, on safety. Any Baby Can San Antonio and Abby didn't want another family to suffer this tragedy, so they created training for community members about fire safety and information about other hazards. Plus, they put together this toolkit for the community. They have the safety locks for kids. They have things, especially for children who are nonverbal. So like stop, wait, sit, help. Abby they hopes to continue spreading her message on fire safety and sharing Rudy's story at this year's Walk for Autism, the nonprofit's largest fundraising event. The last time Rudy was with us at the Walk for Autism, we were Rudy's angels. Then he passed away, and so we became Rudy's heroes. The 19th Walk for Autism will be held Saturday, April 22nd, starting at 8 a.m. at Palo Alto College. All proceeds go towards funding critical programs. Abby invites the community. If there is somebody watching at home and they have a child with autism and they're not involved with any baby can or they were just recently diagnosed, just know that you are not alone. And again, this is happening tomorrow, the Walk for Autism, starting at 8 a.m. at Palo Alto College. And thank you, Abby, for sharing the story. I know that it's, it's impacted my life in many ways. I'm glad. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.